Dr. Doreen Grandpiche is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grandpiche. Dr. Grandpiche. Dr. Doreen Grandpiche. Dr. Doreen Grandpiche is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Uh, Yasmin, and I'm making sure that we say hello to everybody. I know we saw Parker on here at some place, uh, and Andrea are all with us. So I'm glad that you guys are all with us here today. We're talking about those autism symptoms. Um, Andrea wants to know, good morning, ladies. My three and a half year old son has been in ABA for 40 hours a week, for, uh, 40 hours a week for six months. He has only made two to three months gain on the Vineland. Should I be concerned? Well, no, I mean, that's wonderful. And I want to say that usually the Vineland is not a very sensitive test. It doesn't go that fast. You don't usually see a two to three months type of progress. Even like, it's just not, a very, it, I don't know how you know this because it's hard to see a two to three month change on the Vineland because yeah. it's a much more global measure. But if your child has made, two to three months of progress in six months, that's tremendous. Brilliant. Especially if it's the first three months, because the first three months the child is usually just kind of getting used to things like ABA and what are we doing. Um, but you can tell that it's working, and so please stick with it. That's great yeah. news, congratulations, and just keep going. You'll see that it doesn't kind of, you'll see this, and then sometimes you'll have like a massive change. And then you'll have, again, a little bit of a slowdown and then a huge change. It doesn't, it's not like one-to-one -one correlation. It changes all the time. And as long as your child is learning, you're in good shape. And think of it this way, too. You said your son is three and a half, and we don't know, you know, there would have been a whole bunch of things that they tested him for to see where he was mm -hmm. in those things. I just remember as a parent, <laughs> when they were testing my son and they were like, okay, well, you know, he's about to be three, but on this thing, he tests at a year and at right. this, he's a year and a half. And at right. this, and I remember sitting there being so, so, so Worried, devastated yeah. and like, yeah. oh my gosh. But if you think about it, so if he's three and a half and let's say that on something he was testing at two, well, now you just caught up three months. Uh, yeah. Two, that's a lot. Yeah. Because yeah. if you're only trying to catch up for, uh, you know, uh, a year, yeah. then then that means you caught up a lot. And, so. and again, the Vineland again has subtests, right? So yeah. you don't usually get like two to three months overall. It right. might be, it be but like if it is overall, that means it's an average of all the subtests and it's important to keep looking at the subtests and making sure there's mm -hmm. progress. Don't forget, you can watch Ask Dr. Doreen live every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. We hope to see you there.